meeting the other person with oneness does not imply me being one with the other person it means you are one within even as you look at the diverse world of manyness spread in space around you outside you might be fragments distinctions numbers diversities within is no such fragmentation how does fragmentation arise within it arises within when the within becomes a mirror of the without if that which is outside you gains a part of you then you get divided take this right now here here's me if you take me as someone outside of you then this figure will occupy a bit of mental space there is him he too will occupy a bit of mental space one of these posters will occupy some space maybe this color appeals to you this too will start occupying some space the brand of this equipment might be nice that too will occupy some space so the divisions outside will become the divisions inside, inside. nothing outside of you should be allowed to occupy you within because the within is the sacred province of the absolute and the absolute knows no divisions or fragments inside must sit the one and outside the world can keep taking its various forms and shapes that is oneness oneness with it there would never be oneness in the world if there is oneness in the world you will have to physically disappear <laughs> because then you and the earth would be one so parmeshwari is gone either the earth has become parmeshwari or parmeshwari has become the earth and there is no atmosphere either because there is just oneness so outside there is never really going to be oneness as long as you are an embodied being oneness must be within can you elaborate on this for example i meet alok ji and i pranay it should not create any uh, division you said what is that it means the absolute truth within you must meet alok or pranay these two are outside and they are different but the point that meets them must be the point of integrity oneness it must not be that a figure created by alok meets alok and a figure created by pranay meets pranay normally as we are we do not meet a minister and a miserable one in the same way even before we meet them we have turned different because of their influence upon us are you getting it the minister might still be 5 minutes away but you have already changed in anticipation of his arrival the one who is meeting the minister is not the same as the one who is meeting the commoner and i am not talking of your behavior towards these two different persons i am talking of the entity that is meeting of course the behaviors are bound to be different you cannot behave in the same way with everybody 
I am talking about the identity of the one who is meeting the different objects in the world. The, your identity when you are meeting an object is decided by the object that you are meeting. Is that not really a miserable condition? Even before you meet the minister, the minister has cast his spell upon you. He is still some distance away and you are already this. So, the person has changed in influence of the, in the field of the object he is meeting. That must not happen. Who gave you the impression that the contents of your mind are the truth or sacred or absolute. That which arises from within you is just your mental content. Why are you according it a lot of sanctity? Turning ego into God? Rapists' instincts too arise from within. Don't they? You don't have to motivate him. You don't have to really exert yourself to motivate a rapist. It's strongly from within. It's just that their acts are definitely showing up as gruesome and horrible. So you put them in jail. But the other hallucinating ones might be holding respectable tags of spiritual seekers and yoga practitioners. So you do not put them in jail. But hallucinations are hallucinations. If you are hallucinating, how will you know what everyone else is doing? Why not bother only about yes. yourself? If you are in a dream, will you ever be able to know who are all the others who are dreaming? If you are asleep, will you be able to know who is awake? So why not bother only on your own awakening? This is one of the great fallacies. Widely accepted. Quite the norm. Not merely socially circulating, but even in spiritual circulation. You start calling your instincts and intuitions and feelings as the truth. And you start saying, you know, it is arising from within. So it must be the truth. Without ever seeing that that which is within is just a pale imprint of that which is without. From where did something reach within? From here and there. Hmm? Do not turn feelings and such things into truth. They are not. <laughs>